Today, North Carolina News political reporter Bo Minnick sat down with Spellings to ask her response to those opposed to her hiring and what she plans to do as UNC system president. Bo joins us live from Chapel Hill. And Bo, what stood out from your conversation with her? Sharon, this was our first opportunity to sit down and speak one on one with Margaret Spellings. We had five minutes for our interview, so we tried to ask about as many topics as we could. And initially, she did talk consistently about how she wants to listen and learn. It's just been a great day. And for Margaret Spellings, a first day on the job as the new UNC system president. For starters, I'm going to do a lot of listening, but I am going to ask a couple of questions uh, and try to elicit some answers around what people are proud of. She's eager to visit all 17 UNC system campuses and learn about each university. <laughs> She also is aware there are people upset with her hiring. There have been several demonstrations at recent UNC Board of Governors meetings, including arrests in January. I'm looking forward to getting to know them and to learning what their issues are. Do you plan any meetings with them or, or how, how do you bridge that gap? Yeah, well, we have obviously lots of forums, uh, structures and things that have been in place here, meetings with students and so forth. Opponents to her hiring say the process was done in secret and they are critical of Spelling's record, overseeing the launch of No Child Left Behind and serving on the board of a company that collects student loan debt. They are the number one contractor with the U.S. Department of Education, so if it's good enough for the Obama administration, it was it's good enough for me. Spelling's also tells us her priorities for her time in office include improving the accessibility and affordability of higher education. This is a, a, a time in our, in our nation's economy that if you do not have access uh, to higher education and if you do not have some sort of post-secondary credential, your options and opportunities are, are pretty limited. And Spellings tells me she had lunch today with students at NC Central and also had a video conference with chancellors from across the UNC system. Tomorrow, she plans on visiting a campus at Fayetteville State University. We plan on being there as well, and our coverage will continue from Fayetteville. Reporting live, I'm Bo Minnick, North Carolina News, Chapel Hill. And you can find much more about our conversation with Spellings as well as her full contract, including salary, right now on our online at WNCN.com.